Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. The Library Fish Learns to Read by Alyssa Satin Capacilli, illustrated by Gladys Jose. The Library Fish Learns to Read Library Fish loved her home on the desk of Mr. Hughes, the librarian. It was the perfect place to welcome every visitor to the library. From where she sat, Library Fish could check each book that was borrowed and returned. Library Fish loved watching everyone wind through the bookshelves, searching for just the right book. She loved the quiet hum of the room as each person settled into a comfortable spot to read and read and read and read. Of course, when someone wanted to practice reading, Library Fish listened carefully. She never interrupted. Still, story time was always her favorite part of the day. Mr. Hughes read stories that made Library Fish quiver with excitement. Sometimes he read stories that made her laugh out loud. Today, Mr. Hughes held a book that Library Fish had never seen before. He read the title, the name of the author, and the illustrator. Library Fish was all ears. Once there was a dog, Mr. Hughes began, who loved stories. Library Fish nodded. I love stories too, she thought. She inched closer so she could hear Mr. Hughes continue. Whether he was listening to a story or looking through wonderful illustrations, each and every book took the dog on a new adventure. Library Fish giggled. Me too, she thought. Stories had taken her on amazing adventures. What happened next? She wondered. One day, the dog decided he would learn to read. Learn to read? whispered Library Fish. Go on, go on. It took a lot of time and patience and practice, but after some time, the dog began to read all by himself. Mr. Hughes had not even turned the page when Library Fish wanted to clap. She wanted to cheer. She wanted to hear the story again and again. Most of all, Library Fish wanted to learn to read too. Library Fish swam around her bowl. She already knew the library was the very place to learn to read. She was surrounded by everything she needed to begin. Still, it would take some planning. Library Fish waited until Mr. Hughes called, Good night, Library Fish. Keep an eye on the library. Then she sprang into action. Filled with all the possibility of a great story, Library Fish was ready for her newest adventure. With plenty of hard work, determination, and of course, imagination, Library Fish soon landed on the desk of Mr. Hughes with a triumphant splash. First stop, the alphabet, said Library Fish. Library Fish had listened to Mr. Hughes teach readers about the alphabet any number of times. The alphabet is made of letters, Mr. Hughes had said. Letters make sounds, and when we string and weave and blend those sounds together, we get words. Words make stories. One by one, Library Fish studied the letters carefully. Hour after hour, night after night, she made sure she knew every letter and each sound it made. F for fish was one of her favorites. Z's were always welcome after a long night's work. In the morning, Library Fish was right there to open the library with a wiggle of her tail, even if she was a bit sleepy. Now, when books were borrowed and returned, she noticed every letter on the covers and every word. 
When the library closed for the night, library fish practiced and practiced some more. In time, library fish found she could put letters together to make sounds. F, I, sh, w, I, sh, sw, I, sh. She could read small words too. Even her fish bowl was filled with fun words like g, l, a, b, and w, i, g, l, and b, a, b, l. Library fish practiced reading to her friend Bookmobile. She practiced reading to no one at all. And when someone wanted to practice reading to library fish, she listened with great attention, as always. Then she practiced reading right back, in a very quiet voice, of course. Library fish pored over page after page and book after book. When she couldn't quite figure out a word, the illustrations were there to help her. One night, Library Fish went up and down the aisles of the library in search of just the right book. She chose one carefully and settled into a comfortable spot. Slowly, Library Fish read one word, then another, then another. She read line after line, page after page. She giggled, she gasped, she laughed out loud. When she came to the last page, Library Fish read aloud in her proudest voice, The End. It was only when the sun began to peek into the sky that Library Fish tucked herself into her bowl. She drifted off to sleep, murmuring, I am a reader. I am a reader. The next morning, Library Fish welcomed every visitor to the library. It was sure to be a busy day. But tonight, she thought, tonight might be the perfect time to share all I have learned with a good friend. She could hardly wait to begin. The End Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.